This is probably my favorite part in Merchant of Venice when uh, Bisanio first um, goes running to Antonio and he is younger. Bisanio is much younger, right? And he is broke. <laughs> and Antonio is this rich guy who lives in Venice. And um, he's friends for some reason with Bisanio, you know. And uh, Bisanio is begging him more or less uh, for money, because if he gets some money, he can go and approach the girl, the woman, the ragazza, Portia, and he wants desperately to talk to Portia uh, to try and woo her. And so this is I'm gonna do Bisanio's part first with the guitar, and then we're gonna do Antonio's response. And as I say, Bisanio is begging Antonio for for some money. And he's going to explain some things about Portia. In Belmont, there's a lady richly left. She is fair and fairer than that word. Of wondrous virtues sometimes from her eyes, I have received fair speechless messages. Her name is Portia, nothing undervalued. To Cato's daughter, Brutus's Portia. Nor is the whole wide world ignorant of her worth, for the four winds blow in from every coast, renowned suitors and her sunny locks hang on her temples like a golden fleece, which makes her seat of Belmont Colchos's strand, and many Jasons do come in quest of her. Oh, my Antonio, had I but the means to hold a rival place with one of them. I have a mind that me such thrift that I should questionless be fortunate. that all my fortunes are at sea. Neither have I money nor commodity to raise a present sum. Therefore go forth. Try what my credit can in Venice do. That shall be racked even to the uttermost to furnish thee in Belmont to your fair Portia. Go presently inquire. And so will I, where money is, and I no question make the habit of my trust, or for my sake. <laughs> oh, my Antonio, had I but the means to hold a rival place with one of those rich suitors. Oh, my Antonio, had I but the means. Oh, Antonio. Thou knowest all my fortunes are at sea.